Today, my friends, I'm making a gumbo that nobody's gonna be able to complain about. Check it out. First step, fire up your pot. Take your three andouilles and we're just gonna toss them in. Round up your andouille and just let it cook. Our andouille's done, but look at that natural oil down in there and that real flavor. We're gonna leave that right there. And we're gonna add to that sausage grease a half cup of canola oil, then about three fourths of a cup of all purpose flour. All right, so one of the most important things when stirring your roux, keep it on low and you must have a wooden spoon because plastic will just melt away into your roux. So we got our roux right where we want it. And notice it's not smoking, so you can't complain about it. Go in with our holy trinity, that's green pepper, celery, and onion. Now we add us a couple tablespoons of minced garlic. Stir that in, let it keep cooking. After a few minutes of slow cooking, we crank it up. Now we add one big container of chicken stock, it's six cups. Now get your andouille, put a little Danos on it, and now it's dandouille. If anybody can do it, dandouille can. Cut up our andouille, and add your andouille into the pot. Add in one and a half pounds of cut up boneless skinless chicken thighs. I got some of my special Cajun blend here that I'm gonna add to it. Now you know if you're cooking gumbo and you want to do it right, you gotta do this. Reach for a bottle of that Dano Spicy. That's the red top. I got about that much in there and you know we're gonna add all that flavor. Get that mixed in. That's fantastic. Dano Mike. So this has been simmering for at least 30 minutes now. And the last thing that I do right before we serve, we put in some frozen cut okra. We cut the heat off. We're gonna let this sit for five minutes and then we eat. And if you're wondering why I use frozen okra, well, it's because if you use the fresh okra and put it in here, sometimes it just gets a little too slimy. If you use the frozen, it's never gonna be too slimy. Get you a little bowl, put some white rice in it. Turn it upside down. Get you a big old scoop and go right in over the top. And that right there, my friends, is how you do it. Now let's give it a try. All right, so now it's time to eat. I brought in my salesman, Tyler, because he likes to complain about everything. So, Tyler, here's a spork. And let us know what you think about that. All right, you know I love a good complaint. Well, that's pretty damn good. Only thing, can't get this Cajun seasoning anywhere. Not yet. Yum yum, get you some. 